In the modern AEC industry, we're seeing end users, clients, or by using ISO 19650 terminology, appointing parties, adopting information requirements and project delivery standards across their entire asset portfolio. We're also seeing an increase of cloud systems being adopted for information hosting, collaboration, and project delivery. By implementing the Autodesk Construction Cloud, Organizations, teams, and users can collaborate and share information seamlessly inside of a common data environment. When using Autodesk Civil 3D, appointing parties will want to see familiar and consistent styles and methods relating to information presentation, no matter what organization has authored or produced the drawing and or model. This means that inside the Autodesk Construction Cloud Common Data environment, we'll want to host and share a single version of the project's Civil 3D standard and template for all stakeholders to adopt and adhere to. Here we have a common data environment using an interpretation of that given inside of ISO 19650. When selecting the location for our templates and reference files to be stored, we must ensure it is accessible to the teams and individuals who need it. As templates are required for producing information, we have located this in the work in progress area of our common data environment. The standards in our example are multidisciplinary as it has styles for earthworks, drainage, pipework and transportation design. Therefore, we're going to place it in an area that all teams and disciplines have the permission to access. In our example for Civil 3D, we have three different files a DWG file used for the development of styles, which acts as our style master or standards file, a DWT file needed as the template file, and further DWT files used for automated views and multi-sections at various standard scales. If, like this example, your template uses a reference file, it is important that the reference file is located in the same Autodesk Construction Cloud project as to where the files are to be stored. If this reference file is located on a local computer, server, or another ACC or BIM 360 project, a new version of the file will be uploaded into a folder every time a DWG is created, doubling the amount of files in the common data environment and breaking the link to a single source of the truth. Inside of Civil 3D, we shall begin by linking our template to the reference file inside of the same Autodesk Construction Cloud project. We do this by opening the DWT file via the Autodesk Docs panel inside of the application. By going to the Manage tab on the ribbon, navigating to the Styles panel and selecting Reference, we can link our DWG file hosting our Civil 3D styles. We can browse for our file in a Windows Explorer environment by using the Autodesk Desktop Connector, which is how we sync files from our local drive to the collaborative cloud environment. Once the DWG file has been located, the user responsible for managing the Civil 3D standards on the project can select which styles the template is going to reference. In our example, we want our template to reference all the styles. Now that our template has been linked to the reference file, if we take a look at the settings tab inside the Toolspace dialog menu, we can see our file now references the styles hosted inside of the Civil 3D standards DWG. We can tell an item is a reference style by the paperclip icon shown next to the description. If we then save and close our file, that will ready the template for use inside of the associated project. Now that our template is ready, we can test its suitability by creating a new DWG file. We do this by going to New, selecting Browse Templates, and navigating to our template file using the Autodesk Desktop Connector via Windows Explorer. Inside our newly created DWG file, if we go to our Settings tab located under the Toolspace dialog menu, we'll see all of the linked styles from our reference DWG are available. The styles that are referenced are locked and can only be amended in the DWG file they have been referenced from. This feature allows for policing of the CAD standards on the project and mitigates against bespoke alterations. 
Finally, we can save our new DWG file to the Cloud Common Data environment, ready for modeling and or drawing creation.